My name is Charles Cherney. I'm a top residential real estate agent in Cambridge and Somerville, Massachusetts. And I wanted to review with you five things you can do to be successful in relocating to Cambridge and Somerville and buying a home. So first on my list is connecting with an experienced real estate agent who can serve as your coach and guide. So find someone that you click with who's experienced, informed, and engaged. This is the essential first step in my uh, view to succeeding in your search to buy a home here. So uh, myself as a buyer's agent, and I've been doing this for over 20 years, I offer a suite of services that serve a buyer client. There's consultation where we connect together to discuss and review your search, your timeline, your price range, your goals and objectives. Uh, we consider properties together. And if you're at a distance, you can be sending me into the field to take additional photos to do a FaceTime tour, uh, to give you my point of view as you consider whether you're gonna come in from out of town to see a specific property or properties. Then when a property comes into focus, I do a valuation analysis so you can understand if the property is priced low on the mark or high and my take on its uh, price. Uh, then if you make an offer, there's negotiation advice and counsel where I give you uh, tips on how to proceed in the offer process and advice along the way. If your offer is accepted, then there's transaction management. So just sort of being by your side as you give thought to any additional professionals you're gonna need in the process, be it a home inspector or a real estate attorney, or to help you problem solve any issue that should come up. So look, it doesn't need to be me, but it needs to be that you choose, in my experience, an experienced agent who's able to uh, be your coach and guide in the home buying process here. So uh, do your homework, uh, find the person that's right for you and proceed forward with that agent. And now you're proceeding as a team and you're not in this alone and it becomes a lot easier. Second on my list is to get pre-approved for a loan if you're getting one or get together your proof of funds document if you're going to be a cash buyer. So it's essential to, I think, connect with your buyer's agent in your selection of a local lender for your pre-approval letter, because your pre-approval letter, if you're going that route, is gonna be attached to your offer, and it's best that it be from a local lender with a good reputation so that the listing agent and the seller, when they review the offer, feel comfortable and confident about the offer you're presenting and the pre-approval letter attached to it. You know, it's always a little um, risky and for some sellers and listing agents off-putting if your pre-approval letter is from out of state or from an online lender. So um, talk to your buyer's agent and pick a local lender for your pre-approval letter. Now, if you're so fortunate that you're gonna be making a cash offer, then it's about putting together your uh, proof of funds document. It could be a letter from your financial wealth management planner or redacted bank statement or statements. Again, you can review that with your buyer's agent. Number three on my list is to get fluent in the market in your price range. So review recent sales to see what's possible in your price range and review the current inventory. You can also look at pending sales. But basically by doing this, by looking at the past and the present, you're going to have a better sense of what's to come in your future in your home search. And uh, so look, if you're coming from another market that's not as expensive, you may be surprised by how uh, things here uh, are different perhaps, and that you maybe discover that you can't get what you want for your price range, but you just need to dial in your price range. You need to understand it. You need to know what's achievable. So you have a realistic set of expectations as you move forward into your search. And uh, this allows for uh, better decision-making uh, when an opportunity presents itself because you're fluent in the market. Number four on my list is be ready to act. Yes, the market is shifting. I guess it's always shifting, but in recent years, days on market has been averaging in Cambridge and Somerville about 20 days. And many listings actually will have a bid deadline and will go on day four, five, six, or seven after being listed. So, and some can even actually go sooner than that. So you need to be ready to act. So if you've got a good agent and you're fluent in the market, um, and you have your pre-approval letter or your proof of funds and something shows up on the market that you have interest in, you know, you just sort of need to be ready to make a decision uh, because very often properties here are moving quickly. Now, surely this is not true of every single listing. And in certain instances, you have more time. Um, 
But uh, knowing that the market is moving quickly, uh, that generally speaking, there has not been a great deal of inventory over the last several years. And that's actually been true going back even further in time. You know, look, you need to be ready to act. And then last but not least on my list is to be positive. As I think back over two decades plus of working with buyers from across the street and around the world, what I've noted is that those who adopt a positive mindset and don't take the market personally are the ones who ultimately succeed. It's a hard market and many a buyer has made a great offer and not had their offer accepted and made a second offer and experienced the same and even more offers than two sometimes. But you're on a journey and it has a destination and that destination is buying the home you seek. And if you are positive in your thinking and know that journey will have an end result, which is your new home, you'll get there. At least in my experience, that's been the case with buyers who remain positive. And if they, if their offer on one, two, three main street is not successful, they just uh, know the universe is in their corner that there's perhaps a reason for that not to have worked out and that something will come up. There's always another new listing. There's new opportunity, or perhaps the place that you lost out on, the buyer with the accepted offer doesn't stay the course and your buyer's agent is getting a call that the opportunity is there again. So there's twists and turns on the journey from beginning to end, but you will get there if your positive mindset is informing your search. Again, my name is Charles Cherney and I'm a top residential real estate agent, and I welcome the opportunity to help you buy the right home and to be on that journey with you as an agent, coach, and guide. Reach out at any time by text, telephone, or email. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.